So today is my last day sa bahay na to. Uh, I need to leave. For the house, for this place, thank you so much. And hindi kita makakalimutan. <laughs> Time. I will leave now. So, house is almost vacant. That I na ice na. It feels like yung araw na pumasok lang kami dito. Ganon na sin bakanting bakante siya. Tapos binuno namin ng mga sayang memories at uh, mga gandang experiences. So ayon. I am happy. At the same time, I'm sad, of course, but I'm happy because it's been part of my life. People I was with here also have been part of my life. So I'm very thankful. I'm going to have a last look for the last time. Wala na, wala na, wala na! It's all vacant space. <sighs> Okay, I'm going. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on.
Hello every guy so Um today I'm a little bit emotional <laughs> Some I'm leaving this place. <laughs> Napakagandang bahay. Ang dami kong memories sa bahay na to. So sad to believe. I have never been this emotional alone myself. Yeah, I think uh, this blog will serve as uh, inspiration. Etong vlog na to. Pasensya na kung umiiyak ako kasi talagang sobrang... Sobrang ano... Napamahal ako sa lugar na to. Sa bahay na to. Sa lahat ng bahay na tiniran ko sa UAE for the past... 7 years nagkatrabaho ako dito ito yung bahay na talagang ano uh, yung bahay na memor- yung memories na hindi lang memories history sa buhay ko. So, simula nung nag-abroad ako, I have always been fascinating myself na I can live alone, have my own place. Tapos, ano, alam mo yun, do whatever I want. And, nagpray ako dati kay God about that. Binigay niya sa akin, sobra-sobra pa. Nagkaroon pa ako ng best friend, nagkaroon pa ako ng partner. Nagkaroon pa ako ng mga pet. But, the start of the year is very challenging for me. I don't always share this to anyone. Even to my family. It's very challenging in all sorts of way. Financial, emotional, physical. Sa profession ko din, oo. Tapos yung uh, konting uh, pressure sa pagbablog. Konting pressure lang naman. Um... Living this place is uh, it's like li- living it's like stepping into another part of my journey. Kaya sometimes when you move forward you left things behind and you have to let go of some important Sometimes person, sometimes something. You, you, if you learn to, you have to, sorry, not you learn. You have to let go. I have already, sabi ko nung, sa mga vlog ko, lalo na yung vlog ko dun sa dalawa kong pusa. Sabi ko, uh, 
sana madala ko sila sa Pilipinas. So, so painful. Lalo nung uh, si Maraya o mat- si Maraya ngayon ka. Umalis. Si Maraya kasi yung talagang uh, baby. Firstborn ko yun eh. <laughs> ang, ang weird na sabi ko dati sa mga may iyak sa, ano, sa mga pets nila parang uh, ang ano nila ang uh, corny ba't may iyak ng gano'n but then they come to realize and experience why but I hope si Maraya binalik ka na na dun sa organization na naghahabak sa sa kung saan ko siya kinuha. Kasi ginagamit siyang queen dun sa pinagkuhanan ko. Queen means sa uh, palabuntisan. Yung pinapabuntis nila yung pusa. Tapos pinapadami nila. Yun din talaga yung gusto kong gawin nung una para pag nagkaanak siya ibabalik ko na rin siya but uh, it did not went sa alam mo yung sagot sa kumangyari siguro kasi may plan si Lord so um ayun si Maraya bin- binalik ko na si Joy binalik ko na din sa may ari talaga sa kanya tapos ngayon nagkaroon ako ng bagong pusa si Dark 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 where are you Dark? Ayun si Dark. <laughs> Hi, Dark. Nakikita niya ba? Nakasingin siya. Love you. Eventually, siya naman na siya yung siya yung huling pusa na I have to find someone to foster him. So, ayun. Um... Since, and dito na naman, ino-open ko na rin naman. Um, I, uh, last year, last year, last year of, um, ano ba yun? Last year of August, <laughs> in July, August. Last year of August, at the end part of August, I broke up with my girlfriend. Not I. She broke up with me. Hindi ko na lang siya papangalanan, pero she broke up with me with, uh, with her personal reasons, which is, uh, Just, um, hindi matatanggap agad-agad ng mga taong walang ng mga taong hindi makakaintindi kasi we are a lot of things to do sometimes we are not sure of what we want in life So, we need to find out what we really want alone. So, I let her go. <laughs> And, uh, I have to always, uh, understand why I have to let her go. I have to always look back that she's not mine and I and she has her her own individuality. And I respect that. 
So, maybe, siguro, kailangan pang may mga bagay na mangyari to realize things. What's really important for you. So, I have to grow up, make up my decisions, and stand for it. Later part of December, no, no, ju- November, my best friend and I had a misunderstanding. Hindi siya actually misunderstanding. Uh, my best friend who was living with me for quite a long time and with me for quite a long time. Um, decided to uh, to leave me to walk out of the house um, why? because uh, he chose to he chose Ano ko ba sabihin to in a way na walang maaapektuhan? He chose to settle in a way na masaya siya. Kasi pakaramdam niya pag nagstay siya dito, pipigilan ko yung kasayahan niya. Um, there are some very important matters na kasi na nai-involve like yung timing sa work and whatsoever. So, we had a conversation and that conversation didn't went well. So, it uh, it it resorted to him uh, walking out of the house. Yun. So, it was also painful for me because um, it's been part of my life and I actually didn't treat him like a friend only. I treated him as as my brother, as my family. But nonetheless, it's his decision and I respect that. I hindi ako galit sa kanya. And, you know, um, Inayaan ko siyang umalis. Okay na rin sa akin yun. Kasi, somehow, uh, it's a less of stress na rin para sa akin. Kasi parang too much, it's too much stress na. <laughs> too much stress na. So, this start of the year, um, yun yung mga struggles ko na pinagdadaanan, na pinagdaanan ko. At this time around, kaya ako emotional. Kasi, this house Ayan This house Has been part of everything And witnessed As And a witness For all uh, Ayun ang haba ng ang haba ng panahon ay stay namin dito kaya marami kaming memories na nagawa dito so um first of all first of all talaga pala, patapos na nga <laughs> so ayun medyo sobrang emotional ko kasi alis na nga aalis na ako sa bahay na to ayoko sanang umalis eh pero In life, for, for you to be able to move on, sometimes, you need to sacrifice things. For you to be able to totally move on, you have to really uh, leave some things behind. Because uh, it's still about you, no? about your life, about your plans. You have to go back to your you have to go back to your own clothes, wear your own shoes, you know, fit your own socks and start moving on and walk. So 
it's it's it might be painful right now but i know this all of these struggles na meron ako uh, i know god will turn this into blessings because i believe in god hindi naman hindi man ako ganun na ka alam mo yun ka faithful let's say let's put into that pero, pero i still believe in him that he is god whatever we do he's still god so he is mighty he is able so i uh, this um blog i want I, i want to send a message in this blog i want to send a message to everyone na let's all cherish yung mga experiences na pinagdadaanan natin yung mga taong nakakasama natin yung mga bagay na meron tayo let's appreciate it let's appreciate them kung ano man yung mga natatanggap natin sorry naging masaya tayo doon kahit na hindi natin ini-expect yung quantity na ibibigay sa atin there's all always big um, thankful sa lahat And you never know when things will take will be taking taken away from you so It's not that you have to take you to be ready with that but you always need to have a plan B. <laughs> so ito yung ito yung plan B ko. So pag ginawa ko to I know I will be able to move forward in all of my uh Antadan. <laughs> Basta yon, I'll be able to move on. I have to help myself also, no. So, thank you so much for guys for um for hearing me out. I'm sorry sa malabak ako ng pagiyak. <laughs> maraming maraming salamat for um for uh, being there and watching this. And I'm so thankful na I'll be able to vent out yung feelings ko true vlog. Pwede pala yung ganito, no? Medyo nakakahiya lang. But I have to open up with you guys because you guys support me. Wala naman, hindi ako makakaabot ng 1,000 subscribers at 2,000 plus na watch hours kung um, hindi dahil sa inyo. So, lalo na sa mga avid na nanonood ng vlog ko. Uh, sobrang sobrang pasalamat po ako. So, I hope I leave you a good inspiration. Uh, with this realization and uh, a chapter of my life as I as I move forward with my life um, I want to give you a little piece of um, inspirational advice so just keep moving forward appreciate the people and whatever you have on your hands at present And prepare for your future. Maraming maraming salamat mo. Thank you so much guys for watching this vlog. I love you so much. Pshh!